teaching, testing, and training for regional police officers came to a close today. It's been a week of grueling sessions covering a variety of topics to keep citizens as well as police safe. Defensive tactics, maneuvers, and life-saving techniques rounded out the week. Officers received advanced active shooter training, felony stops, low-light searches, school safety, and even CPR. Unusual techniques, like ways to use a flashlight, were also taught. Some officers even had a favorite training session. The uh, building searches that we did out at Sawyer uh, yesterday would probably be uh, about the, the most helpful thing that I've seen so far. It's good for the officers to come back because it's, it gets the cobwebs out. It keeps them current, it keeps them fresh. Uh, some of the techniques they may not use on a daily basis. So this is a good opportunity to come out, uh, get those techniques down. I hope the officers take something away from every topic that helps them become better at their jobs, um, especially safety. We really concentrate on officer safety in every topic. So I think officer safety is probably the most important thing they should take away from the week. Dispatchers also participated in the training. Although they're not on scene, they're responsible for assisting officers and calling in the necessary backup, such as fire, search and rescue, or even SWAT if needed. We're their ears, they're the eyes. So if we see, if we know what they're doing, we know how their formations are working, how they're going to clear a school, then that makes it easier for us. The use of airsoft gun, pallet guns and GoPro cameras aided in the believability of simulated scenarios and the ability to review, critique and improve their techniques.